Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to a brand new video. Alexander from Indigo Light here, very happy to be with you. And of course, thank you for taking a few minutes out of your busy days uh, to share this experience with me. I want to first of all extend my thanks for uh, the, the feedback that I've been getting for the last couple of videos. It's been very meaningful and I'm very happy to be able to help uh, during this stage of your journey individually and of course our collective journey. And that's why I want to take a few more minutes today just to kind of expand on some new insights that I've gotten over the last few days. And, uh, and I also want to thank you on a side, as a side note, um, I put out on the YouTube, uh, on the channel and on the Facebook page as well, a request to kind of know where you guys are from. Um, I, as I mentioned, I'll be kind of traveling throughout the, uh, the coming months. I, I will tell you where when, when I know myself and when it's kind of cemented, um, I will be sharing it with you and I'll be taking you with me wherever I end up, whatever I end up doing. Um, eventually, I will kind of, you know, localize myself somewhere within Canada, within the States, and I wanted to, to be able to kind of get an aggregation, so to speak, of where you guys are from so I can plan localized events. It doesn't mean I can't travel, which I will do, obviously, to have localized events on a more expansive note, but I wanted to begin from somewhere. So I wanted to kind of get a better idea of, I had some ideas in mind and I wanted to kind of expand on those and find a singular place that would be comfortable for everyone. Okay, that's basically what we're trying to do. So thank you for, if you have, you know, commented on that, on that thread already, thank you. And if you haven't, go do that. Uh, so we can kind of have a good idea where to, where to begin from things from uh, a location standpoint. Okay. Um, in regards to the video today, I wanted to discuss judgment. But judgments, not only on a, on, a, on a note of judging others and judging the world, I wanted to talk about judging ourselves during this difficult period and what it means to us. Okay, and I have, I've gotten some insights. This is basically, as I've explained a few times over, uh, how I work. I basically get insights and I share, with, I share them with you. I'm not really keen or um, in line with, you know, videos every day because I don't really believe I personally have something to say every day. I think it's a process of implementation, integration, understanding, and when you're ready, you kind of, you know, share the knowledge. Otherwise, it would be premature and perhaps not ripe enough. Um, in terms of judgment, I guess we're all familiar with judging others, okay? Most of the times that we do that, I think the vast majority, and I've shared this in the live stream and the video prior to that, it's out of fear, fear of loving ourselves. That the fact that we take the, the, I guess, the presumption that we can kind of pass a judgment on another person by our own standards. That's why I was so keen last time in the live stream and the video prior to highlight this very simple but kind of basic and necessary insight that I've gotten over the last few years that as two human irises in the eye are not the same. I don't believe that our characters and our brain configuration and our emotional patterns are the same. Therefore, if I see the world in a certain way and de facto, and aside from a scientific standpoint, the colors that I see in this room that I'm, stand, I'm sitting in right now are not going to be the same way that you see them. So we really have a very, very unique way of seeing the world and we have a very unique configuration of our brains and our emotions and our reaction to stimuli and situations that are nature and nurture and of course our karmic patterns, which are both of these things together and they, they mold us, but we all see the world in a very different way. We need to find an aggregate when it comes to society. That's why we have you know, our, our rules and our mores and they, that they help us function better, but we're really not in a place to be able to judge others and tell them what to do with their lives, which is you know, doing what I do, I find that there's a lot of um, compulsion to do so. I have the ultimate answer, therefore I feel the need to tell you what to do, and if you don't do it, you're going to fail or it's not going to work out. I think that's only a fragment, it's a, sorry, it's a, composed from ego and composed of fear, of fear from the person that's doing that, that is imposing their beliefs and their frame of mind and their way of seeing things, which is fine and dandy on other people, but they're not respecting the fact that we all see the world differently. Now, why am I saying all this? We all want, or rather need, different things in life. We all have our different paths, our different guidance, we have a different soul journey, all of us. You may be born, and this is a common theme which I've experienced as well, born into a family. You have multiple siblings. You find yourself the odd one out. Everybody goes on a, on a you know, your parents have their path, they kind of try to impose it on you. Some siblings will cave and try to do the right thing on paper, 
and you just feel like it doesn't define you and you're not going to let it define you therefore you go against the grain and then you get the backlash of the judgment okay so you get judged and you have a choice later in life to judge others or to re to refrain from judging refrain from believing that your beliefs as they have been imposed on you by other people you don't want to impose your beliefs on other on others as, as like a third party um, because it will no, it will serve no purpose and it doesn't necessarily inherently respect their freedom of choice and this is from my understanding the greatest gift that the creator ever gave us the freedom of choice the, the ability to choose what we want and where we're going in life at any given time at any given time during the day you have a choice there's a preset by your soul is there an influence from within of course but it's a choice it's a choice on a soul level it's a choice on a personal level today and here so we have to respect each other that's why i and i think many of you don't either i really don't resonate with religion or any of those contracts guns constructs that tell you that there is a book with specific rules and draconian you know a draconian way of life and if you don't follow it then there are horrible consequences um, I don't believe that would be respectful enough of the freedom of choice that we all have as human beings but that's the standpoint on judgment as a whole as a concept judging others okay and why we shouldn't why we should kind of the other thing which is silly but it's I find it to be true um, we shouldn't tell other people what to do with themselves because I believe that at this stage we're really trying to understand ourselves. So if you haven't even mastered that, it's kind of arrogant and impulsive to go and tell other people what to do. And most of the time you would be squandering your energy instead of just kind of pooling your resources here and then here and here and here to try to figure out what on earth you're supposed to be doing right now. Okay? That's that. The place we're in today is obviously challenging i think we've agreed on that already in, in the videos prior in the live um there's a lot of things that are we are, are being pushed our way by life sometimes it feels like you have those kind of i don't know horror movies or sci-fi movies and the person is confronted with different doors and behind the doors are all their biggest fears and of course they have to choose the one that isn't fear and most of the time they choose the wrong door um, I feel like we're being put in a similar position, but the doors are all open and we have to confront our fears. And we have to go beyond our fears by way of faith. That's what I've been trying to, you know, to not alluding to, I've been saying it in the last couple of videos. It's a choice. It's a choice of faith versus fear. Not necessarily love versus fear, but faith. Believing in our guidance, believing in the journey. If you believe that there's a place where in eventuality at some point during your journey you're going to be fine and you're going to be happy and everything is going to work out for you then you need to believe that if there's a big obstacle in front of you somehow in the continuity of time past present and future being the same being the singularity which we've discussed before you figured stuff out and you ended up in that place where you're going to end up anyways therefore there's no need to freak out right now if things are not working out okay i used to be that person i'm not i'm not lecturing from a higher standpoint but over time, by getting tired of my own BS, I understood that I really had to surrender. To surrender things I cannot control to source and to trust. That there is a brighter horizon, which I'm gearing and pooling all my resources towards that, you know, that, that, that place and time, or that place in time. And I will get there when I get there, when I'm ready. Therefore, anything uh, the, in the progression of things that lead to that place, I don't need to worry because I'm going to get there anyways. The only uh, variable is how hard I make stuff for myself, how hard I, I make things for myself. If I'm going to be full of fear and um, reticence to move forward, I'm going to complicate and I'm going to create scenarios which basically reflect my fear. So it's really a time to release, surrender and have faith. In many cases, we don't necessarily do that. So we don't do that easily. Why am I saying this? There has there has been or there is still a certain amount of judgment of people towards themselves that's the feedback I'm getting I was in that place you know a few weeks ago or a couple of months ago um, of I know I need to be somewhere I don't feel like I'm doing enough I feel like this may not work or I feel like I've worked so bloody hard to get to this place and here I am and I have nothing to show for it and it feels like because my fears are being you know I'm being confronted with these massive obstacles this deluge of fear I'm not going to be able to move forward therefore whatever I've kind of worked towards has been a failure 
and therefore I need to, you know, self-criticize, punish myself, flagellate, whatever, um, in order to punish myself because I haven't gotten to where I was supposed to. Um, so I do see a lot of self-criticism. Now I want to approach this from a different angle. Before I do that, I just want to mention one thing before I forget. Um, we have an event on the 27th uh, based on synchronicity. What is synchronicity? What do synchronicities mean to us? And I'll be discussing the metaphysical nature of the universe as opposed to the physical nature and communication uh, of guidance and other kind of energies in the ether with the physical and how they do so, i.e. synchronicity. So if this interests you, there's going to be a link in the description of the video. Uh, which you you know may want to check out. We also have an interview today with uh, uh, Unbiased and On the Fence with Shane Robinson, awesome guy I've interviewed with a few times, just an awesome guy. I invite you to check out the video, it's going to be on the channel uh, later on today, and of course going to be on his channel, Unbiased and On the Fence. Regardless, check it out, awesome guy, very, very chilled, very, very happy and positive, and very cool videos as well, okay? And uh, of course, subscribe. Subscribe for, to the channel, notification tab. Uh, there's a little bell that connects to the subscribe button. Just click on it, and it will. You'll get all the updates regarding anything on the community tab and on the videos. Anything, okay? Um, that's that's. Those are the announcements. Again, back to to the element of, of judgment. Um, I mentioned before that for many people, we've grown up in families that we are at, at odds with. Okay, so there is always a feeling that, and especially if you have siblings, you may be the second or the third or the fourth or the fifth, or you may be the only one, okay, for the sake of the argument. Um, there is love in the family, but love is kind of overshadowed by fear many times, and it really feels like that love is unconditional. And therefore, sometimes you want to move forward, but because there is a fear kind of attached to the love, you feel like you need to kind of uh, internalize the fear of others, because it may become a reality. So if people tell you you need to become an accountant or a lawyer or whatever, and you just want to become a musician, uh, but you're not going to be able to make ends meet, blah, 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 the usual kind of scenarios, it becomes a reality in your head because you've kind of absorbed the fear and allowed it to manifest. The place we are in today, we are all programmed in many ways. We still have our core beliefs. We are in a place where we are, for many, many, many cases, alone. We have a community and everything, but I mean on the daily, within our hearts, with our, with our journeys. I witness your journey, you send me emails, I, I try to help, I offer sessions and so on. But most of the time, you're on your own, facing your own journey. And you may find yourself at odds with your family, with your friends, with your cycle, of you know, your circle of your community, whatever. And there is a place where you feel like love from outside is only conditional. And the only true unconditional love you have is you towards yourself when you allow it to be, and from the Creator and Source, your guidance, and of course, if you are lucky, from a spouse, partner, and your kids. Okay? Sometimes it's sufficient, sometimes it really feels like you're alone. Okay? You may have trouble also communicating in that area. So, what I want to bring to the table today, after laying the, how do you say, the groundwork, is that not only do we need faith in this journey, we need to love ourselves, we need to baby ourselves, we need to treat ourselves with the respect and the admiration that we need and we deserve in lieu of all the work that we've done against the grain. And I think this is, this is the definition of my life and I think 99.9% .9 of all of you watching this as well. We've always gone against the grain. You could have done things easy. You could have married the person your parents wanted to, you could have stayed in your neighborhood and gotten a good job, whatever the hell that means. And you could have, you know, played everything safe and everything would have been fine. It would have been great to them, fine to you, it would have been absolutely miserable. We always went against the grain because we went by the, the beat of our, to the beat of our, of our own hearts, the beats of, of, our, of our own drums, and we tried to create reality that way. And the place we find ourselves today is we don't necessarily have a lot to show for it physically. Okay, and I, this is a common theme that I receive and I just try to put it out there. You need to pause this frame of mind, these core beliefs, and look at what you have achieved going against the grain by following the beat of your own heart, the respect that you need to give yourself, and the necessity, if you've been in some way or another deprived or you haven't gotten unconditional love apart from today, you understand you have the Creator and Source, you need to give it to yourself as well. That means you need sometimes to sit with yourself and, and have a conversation an open-hearted conversation in this time because it feels right now like we are 
and I've mentioned this on a comical note, we're facing a huge tsunami, we're alone on the beach, we're looking up and we're saying, oh shit, this may hurt. Of course, and eventually you'll find out that the wave crashes right at your feet and just splashes over your toes, nothing happens. But the whole time you're looking at this, you're, you may freak out and you say, mm, this is not good. And this is a legitimate point of view. In that time, when you have that time for reflection and things are not necessarily moving as fast as you wish forward, and you're really asked to believe that somehow this thing is not going to collapse on you and the ceiling is not going to collapse on your head, you have to give yourself the love and the respect for getting this far by going against the grain. Okay, things are more difficult in the unconventional, if you choose the unconventional road. They're much easier when you choose conventional road, but if you want things and you're driven, and this is the thing with everyone watching this, I think we are people that are our generation, our community, our level of awareness is driven by heart. We know what we want. And there is a clash with physicality uh, when we are kind of confronted with what others want from us or for us. And when love is unconditional, it's not conditional. Conditional love is the creator telling you, go and do whatever makes you happy. I don't care. I honestly do not care. I do not judge. You do you, I'll be there for you. Okay? Um, and so... Take a second out of your day, as you face all these challenges, as you have your freak out moments, as the fear come you know, to the surface to be eradicated once and for all, and you work on your faith and you work on all these things and you face your life, to say, I love you. I respect you, I love you, I admire you for doing what you felt was right when everybody else told you that you're bonkers. And I deserve love from the Creator and from myself. Okay. And lastly, you're not alone. Because of this channel, because of all, all the other channels like it, communities, millions of people, tens, hundreds, I don't know how many people there are today that are awakening. Um, and of course, your guidance. You're not alone. So give yourself the credit, give yourself the love. I feel like people are hard on themselves regardless. And it doesn't serve any purpose. But if you don't allow the love to seep in, it's going to make your journey jumping over this hurdle and, and, and embracing faith a bit more difficult. Okay, that's what I wanted to share uh, for today. I think you're all awesome. I thank you so much for your comments and for your support. I invite you to share if you feel like it may benefit anybody around you that you know you see struggling, or um, even if it's a strange proposition, say check out this channel. You never know. I hope to see you in the event on the 27th for synchronicity. The link is in the description. If you have any questions, you can reach me by email at indigolight2222 at gmail.com. Check out the website indigolightlove.com. You have everything there, sessions, everything. If you need sessions to the spirit, I'll be happy to help. If you want to donate to help us out, we also have a donate page on the website and on our Patreon page, which has you know special content for patrons, uh, closer kind of interaction. In the meantime, I send you all my love, a big namaste, and I thank you for being awesome.